Right, girls and boys, welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate everyone that watches my channel, subscribes, um, you know, likes the video and, and comments. That's the most important thing I want you to do is comment. And if you've not been here before, I'm someone that spent 15 years of my life, uh, 11 years of my life in and out of some of the toughest jails in England. I started that journey at 15 years old and I finished there at 27. And cut a long story short, I come out and got into strong man as you can see from my videos was really successful um do you know what i mean and um i went from there and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do an intro um one day and just do the whole lot about you know how i changed and all that because just putting it through at the video at the beginning is 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 it's boring, especially for me, especially for the guys that watch this a lot. Anyway, I'm going to give you something, right, listen to this fucked up story, right, so, um, I love my bikes, you know, I fucking love them, fast bikes, you know, I'm a risk taker in life, you know, fucking, you know, that's why I was involved with crime, because I'm a risk taker, I'm still a risk taker now, because I drive bikes fucking sanely, not as bad as my mates, but so, you know, I still fucking, um, I still push the boundaries, and I remember one night, I was coming back from Reading, and it was fucking pissing down, and it was pitch black. I'm driving along in the motorway, suddenly, boof, the lights go out on my bike, to all of them, yeah? And I'm like, fuck, I'm in the fucking fast lane, how the fuck am I going to get there? How am I going to get into the fucking, onto the hard shoulder? So I used the acceleration of the bike, yeah, and got in front of everyone else. I got myself on the hard shoulder. And I'm on the hard shoulder. I'm like, right, Tom, you've got fucking one or two choices here, yeah, right? This was back when I fucking had no license, no fuck all. And I was like, right, you got fucking, you got to go for it, yeah? Now, the amount of miles I had to do was probably about 30, yeah? This was suicide, Right, but I had no other option. So I remember I started the journey. I'm getting fucking beeped left, right, and center. People are like, you got no fucking lights. Like, I don't know that, you fucking idiot. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm fucking shitting myself. And then on the hard shoulder, I seen a white van broken down. So I pull over on the white van. I'm like, you're right, mate. How are you? And he was like, yeah, I'm all right. And because like, I wanted his fizz jacket. Uh, he had a, he had a, 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 a high vis jacket, and I wanted it. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, bro, let me have that fucking high vis jacket. He was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. You give me the high vis jacket, right? And he goes, you ain't gonna fucking make that. Out. You ain't gonna do that, are you? I went, what? I got no other choice. I had no other choice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What am I gonna do? Sit here. The police will come. You know, I lose the bike. You know. Um, I have to try, I have to try, yeah, so fuck it, there's me, boom, I go for it, yeah, oh my god, man, I fucking assure you, it was the most treacherous journey I have ever had, how I didn't die, I don't know, yeah, and, you know, like, I remember seeing a sign saying eight miles from where I live, and I was just like, fucking yes, man, do you know what I mean? And the weird thing is, is the indicators worked. So I kept using the indicators to let people know, yeah. And I remember getting up that ramp and fucking, you know, getting back into the town. And I was thinking, I bet I'll get fucking stopped by police now. But you know what? No, I made it. I made it home. Made it home, mate. And so what this video is about is some of the fucking things i used to do is insane man like honestly i look back on it and i think you know how i'm not dead i don't know yeah um how i would not killed anyone i don't know you know um you know like is it luck is it fate do you believe in that sort of shit you know leave in the comments do you believe in fate you know do you think that you know i was never be i was not i couldn't have kids yeah um, do you think that was karma for the shit I did? You know, I, I I think it is. You know, so I think that's my punishment, not being able to have kids. So like, um, yeah, I and now I've got this kind of thing where I think you know, treat somebody nice, and you know, it's it it, it 
I remember this old lady was broken down um, and I stopped and I was like, you're right. And she's like, no, she was about 70. She was fucking, she was, in, she was fucked. She was like, I don't know where my daughter is. She's doing this, but she's fucking all over the place. And I went, all right, all right, calm down. I was like, where do you need to go? And she was like, oh, I need to go to this fate. And I was like, okay, okay, give me your phone. And she was very hesitant to give me her phone, yeah, right, but she gave it to me. I tapped in the thing, I said, right, listen, follow me on my bike, yeah? And she's like, okay. So I took her to her, the place that she needed to go to, and I tell you what, the people that come out, yeah, had, the fucking doors were fucking banging, right? And they was like, oh, thank you. And, and you know what, I didn't do that for any other reason, but, uh, um, but to be nice. You know what I mean? I thought, you know, don't get me wrong. Some people think I'm a cunt. I'm, I, you know, I'm a fucking violent this and that. It's because they don't know me. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm fucking, I'm pretty cool. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I won't have anyone disrespect me. But I'm fucking easy going now, man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a man. And that's what happened. I turned into a man. When I used to, you know, have outbursts, and all that that's because I couldn't control my emotions and that's what women do so boys keep your fucking emotions in check man don't be shouting at your missus getting in arguments walk the fuck out man it's like fucking arguing with a toddler you wouldn't argue with a toddler would you then fucking get out of there man they're hormonal as fuck then you come back later and then you say look you know that's not acceptable but anyway I hope you enjoyed that that was the most fucking nerve wracking ride I've ever had and listen, thanks for everyone for for supporting me. We're nearly at a thousand and you know, if you liked it, please subscribe, you know, and please um like the video. Leave a comment on something mental you did. You know, something that like you know, like that, you know, um me fucking getting all the way back from Reading to fucking Bristol with no lights at fucking ten o'clock at night, you know, in the piss and down and rain, I'll have you know. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see, you know, some of the, some of the uh, comments that come. But anyway, guys, listen, have a nice evening and um, I'm off to the gym now, even though it's fucking sweaty as fuck, but still, I've got to keep the body in shape, right? Guys, see you until the next one. I'll see you later.